What if our opponent's monsters had a sudden change of heart? Yoink. This time, we're trying to steal our opponent's cards and use them for our own nefarious schemes. But before we jump into the games, this video is sponsored by something you've probably heard about already. Raid Deology. Uh, remember to get your dental x-rays and keep those fangs healthy. Yeah, let's just get into the game. Game Vlog. Alright, we're playing some spooky vampires, and this is an alright start, but we're stuck going second, and our opponent is playing Sword Soul. Yeah, while we're fast forwarding through their turn, my opponent goes for the classic Sword Soul board of a monster negating Chi Zhao and an Omni negate Baram. But now that they're done, it's yeah, our turn to cook. Right. Let's play one for one to summon Vampire Familiar. By paying 500 life points, we can search any vampire monster, and they. yeah, they negated it. Well, I guess we're done cooking. Let's set two traps and pass back. My opponent activates... Wait, is that a Royal Rare Baron? Good for you, man. But it doesn't really matter because we can activate Vampire Domination. Since we have a vampire on board, we can negate any card effect, and since it's a counter trap, they can't counter it with the Baron Negation. Oh, and since we destroyed a monster with it, we get to gain life points equal to that monster's attack. Next, they banish Fashuda, trying to bounce our second trap, so let's go ahead and activate that in response too. Ice Dragon's Prison can summon a monster from their graveyard and then banish an opponent's monster that shares a type with it. Called by the grave? That is not how that works, friend. They can banish Retainer, but we can banish their Chi Zhao. Seems like a pretty good trade to me. Now they activate a spell card to summon Moye and then Link Summon for Shaman of the Tenyi. I'm sure they're pretty upset after all that, so they go attacking. Unfortunately for them, we have all the answers and can summon Vampire Fraulein. By paying life points, we can increase our vampire's attack and defense during battle. So we paid just enough to defeat Longwan, they go attacking again, and did I forget to mention that Fraulein's effect is not a hard once per turn? After learning that the hard way, my opponent scoops it up. Game 2 not much going on in this hand, but we can summon Familiar and go into Link Kribo just to get it in the graveyard. Activate, summon, and search for Fraulein before passing turn. Our opponent is playing Sharks, so they summon some fish, and I jump the gun and steal their Stealth Kragen. Then they summon Nash Knight, Silent Honor Dark, and can use its ability to Om Nom Kragen before attacking us directly. Luckily, Fraulein can summon herself and protect us once again. And before ending their turn, they summon a fish with a very long name. Our draw, and we top deck Unizombie. Nice. Let's summon it, bury retainer, and mind control the spider shark. Yes, come to my side and join me. Now let's send Fraulein to the graveyard to summon Vampire Retainer. Similar to Familiar, we can pay 500 life points to search for any vampire spell trap, and we choose Vampire's Domain. Domain lets us pay life points to grant an additional normal summon, and we gain life points whenever we deal damage with a vampire. So let's Link Summon Vampire Sucker, activate Domain, and Link Summon again for Vampire Fascinator. When she's summoned, we can summon a monster from our opponent's graveyard, and she can tribute a zombie, in this case herself, to take control of an opponent's monster. And we can tribute it to summon Vampire Scarlet Scourge. He can summon a vampire from grave by, you guessed it, paying life points. So let's search another frown line, swing in to drain our opponent, and pass the turn back. Our opponent brings out some more fishies and exceeds summons for Ragna Zero. We can tribute Familiar to summon Link Karibo, and they draw off Maxi in response. They attack our Link Karibo, and I'm not sure why the game didn't let me activate it here, but maybe you can let me know in the comments. After that, they exceed summon for Frozen Lady Justice and destroy the monster we stole before passing back. And... Another amazing top deck. This turn is going to get really crazy. Vampire Ghost can discard a vampire card to bury a retainer and search a vampire sorcerer. Now we can pitch it to summon familiar and search yet another vampire. A few more vampires come out and sorcerer can banish itself from grave to let us normal summon without any tributes. So after all that work, we can normal summon Vampire Voivode. Voivode summons two monsters from our opponent's graveyard, which we can use regardless of their levels to exceed summon the Zombie Vampire. Let's activate it to mill four cards from both decks, and that's a pretty good hit. Summon another Vampire Scarlet Scourge, draw a card, and summon Fraulein from Grave as well. Man, this deck is so sweet when it gets going. Battle phase time. Let's pay all but 50 life points to attack over their monster and drain enough life points back to be able to pay for Fraulein again in order to win the game. Game 3! This is a pretty good hand of cards, but our opponent sets one and passes. 
Well, it would have been a good hand if we had some monsters to steal. I guess we'll just swing in and pass Labyrinth, of course. Um, it's still my turn, opponent. Oh. All right, they activate Lovely Labyrinth, but we can counter with Vampire Domination and gain a nice chunk of life points as well. And I'm gonna be honest, I totally zoned out here because they were taking a really long time on their turn, but eventually they do go to battle and I can fend off all three of their attacks because they didn't think reading Fraulein was all that important. All right, finally our turn again. Now I could try to go for some combos here, but my graveyard is currently empty, and I know they are just itching to pull the trigger on their Druid Swarm. So instead, I decide to just attack over their monster to trick them into banishing one of their own cards for the summon. Uh, but now it's their turn again, so... One eternity later. Okay, to sum up, they manage to rebuild their board entirely and set up the Labyrinth Field Spell. And we draw... Wow, another mind control. That makes three stealing effects to play around with. I think we might be able to manage a win here. To get things started, let's Link Summon for Dark the Dark Charmer, and that effectively baits some of their interaction. They can destroy a random card in hand, one of our two mind controls? <laughs> oh, they are not going to see this one coming. Since Dark died, we can search for Vampire Ghost, but now let's mind control their lovely Labyrinth and change of heart their Arion to Exceed Summon the Zombie Vampire. We can use him to mill cards and summon Unizombie, which is a pretty sweet hit. So let's bury Retainer, search with Familiar, and summon Scarlet Scourge, which can also bring back Fraulein. Now since Unizombie is level 4, we can actually play it safe and Synchro Summon for Baron, destroy a face down, and... Surrender? Wait a minute! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one makes sense. Game 4. Alright, we're up against Sky Striker this time, and they have a pretty standard start. Let's try to steal their monster, and they activate Eagle Boosters to make it unaffected by card effects. Fair enough. Now we can summon Unizombie, bury a familiar, and activate it to search for Scarlet Scourge. We can do the same with Retainer to search for our additional normal summon, and now that we've established our domain, we can summon Scourge and bring back Fraulein. Let's go to battle and pay a ton of life points into pumping Scourge, since we can just recover it all back by draining our opponent. We can take out Ray too, and because Scourge defeated Shizuku in battle, we can summon it to our field at the end of the battle phase. Now let's Synchro Summon for Baron, and we can use it to destroy their face down before passing turn. They use Afterburners to threaten our Baron, which forces our negate. They do some searching and try to destroy our face down, but we can activate it in response to steal another one of their monsters. Next, they bring out Ray, link up to Kagari, and recycle Engage to do more searching. They try to go to battle here, but I'm afraid that Kagari has had a little change of heart. Or, er, crackdown. That is a lot of our opponent's monsters, but let's see if we can't snag some more. Let's link into the Dark Charmer, summon one of their aces, do some more vampire shenanigans, and exceed summon for Dom Pierre, Vampire Sheridan. Tribute for Scourge and bring back Fraulein again before using Dompier to threaten that last face down. They activate Linkage in response to summon Kaina, which prevents our Dompier from attacking this turn. Well, now that we've removed all their potential interaction, let's go for the ultimate disrespect and use all of their own monsters to Link Summon for Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. I'm sorry, opponent. There's nothing you can do when your own monsters have joined up against you. And if you want to join the Aremia army, consider hitting that subscribe button. And while you're at it, you can check out the last Silly Strats video where we played the most expensive deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.